What's going on y'all? Today we're going to talk about the truth about kayak fishing and why people hate it. I have seven reasons why people that get into kayak fishing are not going to stick with it, they're going to hate it, and they're going to leave it. But before I get into those seven reasons, y'all drop a comment below. What do y'all think the number one reason why people that get into kayak fishing don't stick with it, they end up hating it. I'd love to hear your thoughts before I get into the seven, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get after it. Number one, we have kayak fishing is uncomfortable. Um, and the truth about that is that when you start off kayak fishing, it's going to be uncomfortable. You're not used to sitting in a seat all day or um, kind of being a little unstable on the water. And then ultimately, whether you're pedaling or paddling, uh, you know, your shoulders are going to be sore, your legs are going to be sore, muscles that you didn't even know you had are going to be sore. So it's going to create a little bit of discomfort. That's just part of it. The truth about that is that just like anything else, the more you do it, the more time you spend on the water, um, those muscles are going to strengthen up and you're going to become more comfortable. That uh, discomfort um, doesn't doesn't last forever. It's something that if you just get out there, spend some time, and the more you do it, the more comfortable you're going to be on the water. So number two is effort. Uh, it takes more effort to kayak than it does to be on a boat. I mean, let's just face it. You got the unloading of your kayak. Uh, you're sitting here. You're pedaling. You're paddling around all day, and then you're you got to load up at the end of the day, pack the car. All that takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. Whereas if you have a boat, you can just back down the water, ride in your boat all day, load it up on a trailer and be done, right? Well, for me, um, the effort that I use out here on the water is, you know, it's kind of like, um, I don't necessarily have to have a gym membership because I'm out here exercising. I know it probably doesn't look like it, but it's the truth, right? I'm out here burning calories. I don't, um, I don't dislike the extra effort that it takes for me to be on a kayak. I, I love being out here on the water uh, just with nature and it, it's just simple, right? It does take a little bit more effort. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind. If you're a extremely lazy person, uh, you're probably not gonna like kayak fishing because it takes a lot more energy and effort out there on the water, pedaling, paddling the spots, loading, unloading. So that is a reason why people are going to hate kayak fishing. The third reason is the weather. Um, you know, there are a lot of times you wanna get out on the water and uh, it's extremely hot and you really can't do anything about it. Uh, Midsummer out here in South Alabama, it's well over 100 degrees. Um, and you know, you're in the elements on a kayak, uh, not to mention the, you know, on your good days, you have the sun, but then, you know, you could be out there with bluebird skies and all of a sudden a storm pops up and you got to have an exit plan to get off the water. So, uh, if you're out there and you're kayak fishing and you get caught in a couple of bad storms, you're going to probably develop a bad taste for kayak fishing. So, you know, you really can't do anything about the weather other than have a good float plan. And, you know, for me, like with the sun, it's pretty hot right now. It's noon. I would typically already be off the water. Uh, I plan to normally be on the water from like 6 a.m. to like 10. I try to beat the heat. I plan for my weather. Uh, you know, if I can look in the distance and see black skies, I constantly check in my radar to make sure I don't have anything that's going to roll up on me. Um, and then I try to keep a good exit strategy at all times. So, uh, that is something that people that go out there and start kayak fishing, if they get caught off in some rough weather or they're just out there getting beat up by the sun, they're probably going to develop a hate for kayak fishing. All right, and then number four is just like being on a kayak. Um, you're very limited to the amount of storage and room you have on that kayak. Um, you know, if you have a boat, you could take 20 rods. You got all sorts of storage for rods. Um, you have compartments for tackle and rain gear and just pretty much everything that you would ever need, you can fit on a boat and you just don't have that luxury uh, on a kayak. So, you know, you are very limited to the things that you can take out there on the water uh, with you. They are developing uh, better kayaks these days that do have a lot of storage options. Uh, but ultimately, um, that's, that's a, the thing about kayak fishing. It's very simple. Uh, it's, it's minimal 
um there are some people out there you see that have a bunch of you know eight different rods sticking up and all sorts of gear and their kayaks are just loaded down and uh and certainly you can do that but that's one of the great things about kayak fishing is that um it's very minimal right you take a couple rod and reels small tackle box you go out there and uh and you try to get it done you go out there and do some fishing right um so that is a reason why why people you know don't like kayak fishing is they're not able to take everything that they would uh be able to take if they were in a boat all right number five might be a controversial reason um you know it's other boaters on the water uh, I feel as a kayak fisherman, kayaks do not get the same respect on the water as other uh, boats may get. You get a lot of boats that will sit there and buzz you, you know, running wide open, slinging wake on you, especially, um, you know, in the springtime, early summer, you get a lot of ski boats and tubers and jet steers and all this stuff. And you could be in a wide open body of water and somehow, <laughs> They always end up running just right next to you wide open. Um, you know, I kind of get it sometimes when you're in small creek systems running around bends, they, you know, whatever, whatever the deal may be. So uh, for me, uh, a, a large portion of why kayakers are going to not like kayak fishing is other boaters on the water um, slinging wake on them. And then ultimately for me, if I'm fishing a lot of times, you know, if I'm trying to fish a bank, a boat will run up you know 50 yards ahead of you cut you off on the bank it's just part of it but for me that is a large portion why a lot of people end up not liking kayak fishing all right reason number six we're not able to cover as much water in a kayak as you would a boat i mean obviously so that's a pretty obvious reason um you may go out to a spot fish it for a little while the fish aren't there and ultimately you just can't run and, and make a three four five mile run to a new spot you're kind of stuck with figuring out where the fish are where you are so you're just not able to move from location to location as quickly as possible if you're fishing freshwater lakes you know and you launch on one side of the lake chances are you're not going to be able to cover and run all the way to the other side of the lake um, that's just part of it in my opinion that is one of the things that makes uh, kayak fishermen better anglers is because it forces you to figure out where the fish are where you launched whereas you know if you're in a boat and the fish aren't biting you're going to be likely to just get up on plane run to a new spot drop down but if you're in a kayak it forces you to pick that area apart and uh, and really learn everything you can about that area so for me um i think that makes us a better angler but for most people that is going to be a reason why they end up hating kayak fishing all right so now reason number seven and i believe this is the biggest reason why people that start kayak fishing ultimately hate kayak fishing and that is going to be that they start out in a very very cheap kayak that is uncomfortable it doesn't track well it doesn't have the storage basically all the other six things that we talked about right being in a cheap kayak amplifies that um a lot of people sit here and they get in the mindset and they say well i don't know if i'm gonna like kayak fishing so i'm just gonna get me a cheap kayak and if i like it i'll end up upgrading and getting into a better kayak and overall that is just a really bad strategy because if you go out and you get in a three four hundred dollar sun dolphin or a really cheap pelican or whatever and if you have those kayaks i'm not not putting them down at all but um obviously with with the cheaper kayaks you're going to lose stability so you're going to be unstable on the water um it's not going to track as well so you're going to have to spend a lot more effort trying to keep that kayak going straight um, it's not going to be as quick, fast on the water, efficient. It's not going to have a whole lot of storage. So there are a lot of reasons why getting in that cheap kayak is just going to make you hate it. You know, um, in my opinion, I think the better option is to um, go out there and you know maybe book a charter with somebody that does kayak fishing charters or whatever so you can get on the water see what it's like to catch fish uh or you can go to a, a lot of kayak dealers have 
pools or areas that you can launch the kayak and spend a little bit of time in that kayak and seeing how it feels, making sure that it's something that you're gonna like before you buy it. Um, I think a good price point is about a thousand bucks uh starting out i don't you know there may be some but in my opinion i think a thousand dollars is going to start you off in a in a decent okay kayak that's going to have a little bit of a still stability a little bit of storage um you know and, and and so on and so forth there are a lot of really good kayaks around a thousand bucks that are good paddle kayaks you can find good pedal kayaks for about 1300 bucks if you're a little strapped for cash, maybe you don't have a whole lot, save up. It's worth it if you got to save an extra year to get the right kayak. One, if you end up not liking it, then all you got to do is resell it. And a more expensive kayak is going to have better resale value. Uh, if you buy a cheap kayak for 400 bucks, you're not really going to be able to make any money back on that if you don't like it. Um, but yeah, getting in a, a good kayak to start off is going to give you better stability it's going to track better you're going to spend less effort ultimately it's going to give you a better experience on the water so i hope this was helpful for anybody out there that's looking at getting into kayak fishing these are some things that you're going to have to consider some reasons why you might get out there and end up not liking the sport uh, as a whole but i hope this video was helpful if it was hit the like button comment with any questions subscribe if you haven't already we'll see y'all next time